Hey guys, Honda here. Um, I've been asked to do a Let's Play. Um, so, we're going to see how this goes. Uh, instead of doing a Let's Play from the very beginning, I'm just going to go uh, with the map that I have right now, since I've got a pretty fair amount of time into it. So, uh, while I'm running at 120 speed, uh, this is basically just going to be the day in the life of a, of a Farm Simulator 2013 farmer. Uh, a couple of things that I don't do while these crops are growing is I don't do quests. Uh, I get all my money from actual farming. Uh, I just think that quests are kind of cheesy and cheap. Uh, so we're not going to do quests that way. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, this is going to be a pretty, pretty long uh, video uh, because it's a pretty extensive process in the day in the life of a farmer. So while these crops are going again, I'll just go over some of these equipment. Um, the only thing that you probably recognize from the beginnings of uh, beginnings of the career mode are these two tractors here, the yellow and the green one, and the red one. Everything else that I have is pretty much upgraded, so don't worry too much about the upgrades. Uh, the techniques that I use are, are the same, uh, whether you have uh, entry-level equipment or, or more advanced equipment. Uh, combine here. Uh, this is the third best combine. This is the one that has the corn attachment. Uh, that particular attachment is not the corn attachment, that's the wheat and barley attachment, but uh, you can buy the corn attachment for that model, whereas you can't for the other two upgraded models. I uh, got a trailer there, uh, upgraded trailer, for picking, uh, picking materials off of the combine, uh, so I can run them back to the, uh, to the uh, silos. Uh, I got, this is this, the uh, sower here, uh, pretty robust sower. That tractor right there, that yellow one, uh, is pretty much required for that sower since it's so big and heavy. This little red tractor can't pull that sower. Uh, and then a cultivator here, it's upgraded cultivator. Really nice. Uh, works pretty well. So we'll just uh, do a couple more laps here real quick while the crops are growing. And uh, I could certainly speed up the grow rate, uh, but I just, I just choose not to play that way. Uh, just use to only compress time and just let the crops go as they may. Uh, that's a pellet fertilizer right there to the right uh, with the yellow top. That fertilizes the fields. You can either spray or fertilize either one. You don't necessarily need to do both. And that's a round baler. And a rake for hay and a plow. And the only thing you really need plows for in the game is to uh, expand the size of your, your fields if you want. Um, I've tested it a couple of times. Uh, I've heard that you don't need plows, and then I've heard that you do need plows. Like I said, I've only tested it a couple of times, uh, and I've got results favoring both ways, so I still need to test it a few more times before I'm convinced that you do or do not need plows. Got a uh, front loader there and a mower. And this is the my larger... Uh, tipper. This is the largest tipper in the game, uh, and I bought this because I don't want I don't want to make a hundred trips uh, back and forth to drop the crops off. I just want to make it see as possible. And the yellow and green tractor uh, does just fine for pulling that. Believe it or not, a yellow and green tractor is awesome. Um, it, it is high on maintenance, um, but it is uh, for an entry level tractor. It's got a tremendous amount of horsepower for the price that you pay for it. So, uh, waiting, 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 and waiting. Shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna check the. Yeah, may take a little bit, but uh, we'll get there. But in the meantime, uh, I haven't got any cows yet. Uh, I'm gonna be headed that way uh, at this particular time. Uh, I'm working these three fields, and I basically uh, have upgraded everything off of these three fields. Uh, and then after I get these final upgrades, I want one more tractor. Uh, once I upgrade this red tractor to a uh, to something a little bigger, uh, then I'll be ready to expand and get a new uh, new field. As you can see here, um, I've merged these two fields together. And yeah, like I said, you can do that with the plow. Uh, just hit the O key, the zero uh, O, not zero O, and you toggle in between uh, make field mode. And I can show you that real quick while this is uh, while this is growing. Pretty easy stuff. Oh, what happened there? I got a streak of grass that isn't growing. 
Maybe it missed it. I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, um, having a lot of fun playing this game. It's pretty cool. So like I said, this is going to be the day in the life of a farmer. So you're going to see everything from beginning to end, uh, real time, on what it takes to play the game. This is the plow again. As you can see, it uh, dug a little thing there. Uh, see the o, o key, allow create fields, and then you hit the O, and then limit field. Limit fields uh, will not expand your fields, and then uh, allow create fields will. Uh, it will allow you to expand your fields if you want, so. So anyway, the way that we're going to... The way that we're going to do this is, uh, I believe this is barley or wheat, so I'm going to be ram this and uh, bringing it to this spot over here. If you want to sell them, oh, careful, oh, oh, that's the second time that's happened. Got wedged in there. So you bring them to this little barn here. And they just push them into the barn or, or whatever, and you sell them at this location. If you want to keep them, then just store them uh, elsewhere. At this time, since I don't have the cows yet, and I don't have the equipment to feed the cows, uh, I'm, just, I'm just selling them for money uh, while the harvester runs around and picks up on my crops. So checking the silos in the I key. Cycling through, cycling through. Uh, oh, the only thing I have right now is canola. Uh, I had to sell everything to get that harvester. I just got it yesterday. So, uh, so now we're building up stock, and the the goal is. Okay, well, I keep it. The, this prices. We're looking for one of these high demand uh, resources to hit. Uh, in the meantime, hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be allowed to. To build up our resources, so when when a high demand does hit one of our uh, resources that we have, that we'll have them actually in the silo to sell. So right now, uh, currently we only have canola to sell. So if anything other than canola hits, we're in trouble because we won't have it to sell. But like I said, we just upgraded this uh, the harvester and uh, actually just barely got it, as you can tell, because we had to sell everything to get it. But uh, hitting the escape key shouldn't be too much longer for the crops are done growing. But we'll jump in this tractor here real quick. Get it moving over there. Get it ready for... Ready for harvesting. So since this thing is so big... Uh, we can uh, just put a worker in it, and he can pretty much take two or three swipes before we need to before we need to unload it. So it allows us an opportunity to to run the round baler behind him. And uh, get the round bells going. Then I probably need to set that up too. We are going to need to cultivate a little bit. Uh, you only need to cultivate uh, if you have leftover hay on the ground, and we will definitely have some of that. So I'm just going to have this at the at the ready, and then we'll get the cedar ready. In fact, I need uh, actually I need the round beller. So we'll have to hold off on the cedar. Get the round beller ready, and what we're going to do is uh, make round bells as fast as we can when we're not juggling the tipper, and uh, we're going to drop them off at this uh, this little barn right here in front of it, and then uh, after we get everything planted and seeded, we'll come back in and, and push them in while the crops are growing. Um, as you can tell from the silos, my last harvest was uh, canola, and uh, there, there aren't anything to round bell and canola it's only wheat and barley so so that's why we had a little bit of downtime there so we're just waiting for the whatever this is the pop getting there so anyway uh like i talked about earlier in one of the other videos uh it's a lot of, a lot of fun to play this game 
Um, it's uh, it's pretty demanding. It, it can be at times, especially when you're about to see here in a little bit when we get this rocking and rolling, that uh, juggling three and four machines, tractors at a time, can get pretty uh, pretty crazy. But that's what I like about it. A lot of fun. So every once in a while too, you always want to check for sales and see if you got anything. No sales. So I always pretty much have the prices screen up. Uh, of course, I'm not going to need it up. I'll get a uh, a warning message anytime. Um, okay, so I'll get a warning message. Oh, there we go. There it hit right there. Let me slow that down real quick and see exactly what that was. Potatoes. Okay, we don't have potatoes, so we can't do that. Speed it back up. We're almost there. But anyway, uh, like you saw there, we'll get a message um, whenever something pops for a uh, for a prime resource, so we can just keep that down, so it keeps our field of view up. So, and then every once in a while, like I said, you just want to hit the P button. Now we're running at uh, 120 speed now, but when we're running normal speed, um, we can pretty much harvest the whole thing this whole field which usually takes about an hour uh, and we won't really need to check for sales uh, we could do that afterwards so. but when you're running at 120 speed you always want to check periodically uh, usually when something goes on sale it'll go on sale for anywhere from 8 to 24 hours at a time and that's the same with uh, premium resources about 8 to 24 hours so uh, not quite enough time for you to plant something to sell it uh, while the prime rate is still going, uh, but long enough for you to do whatever you're doing and finish up whatever task you're doing and still have plenty of time to make it to the silos to sell whatever you have already harvested. So. Any minute now. But anyway, good times playing this. Um, can't seem to get away from this. A lot of fun to play. Lots of things to juggle. Lots of things to, to do. Different ways to go. Uh, if you want to raise animals to get steady supplies of money. If you just want to invest in land, just in machinery, uh, types of crops, uh, balancing out where you sell the crops, planning, preparation. It's all pretty important in this game. So, you don't have to play uh, at full tilt uh, if you don't want to to have fun at this game. You can certainly uh, just take it easy uh, if you want to and and uh, just have fun. Uh, you don't have to play it as hardcore as pretty much I do. Uh, but that, that's the way I like to play things. I like to, I like, to like things to be a challenge. But sometimes you always got to up the ante a little bit and to keep it demanding. So the faster you get at things, the more difficult you need to make it. So almost there. <clears throat> but this harvester sure does make life a lot easier. With a larger capacity, I think this is the uh, nine thousand. Um, whatever's pounds or tons or it's not nine thousand tons, but nine thousand pounds or something. Uh, can hold a lot more so I don't have to run behind it all the time with a wagon to keep it empty like you have to do with the entry-level entry vehicles. This one you can sort of just, uh, there we go, turn it down to nothing and hit H and away he goes. So we're going to jump in the ram bailer right behind him and we're going to hit the two key for a operating speed and we're going to turn our ram bailer on and we're just gonna make some rainbows. So since uh, we're picking up all this material, uh, we won't need to cultivate this. Uh, we'll just need to spot cultivate because uh, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the sower, the seed layer thing, the sewing machine, um, is a cultivator and a sower in one. Uh, but what it doesn't do is pick up this this stuff that the harvester is leaving behind that we make in the round bells. 
So if we miss any of this, we'll, we'll have to manually cultivate that with the other uh, with the other tool. We'll just check on the harvester. We're at 33%. Bottom right hand corner there, you can see the capacity. 36, 37. So it's going to make uh, two passes pretty easy. And that emblem on the right hand side, uh, bottom right hand side, that is a barley emblem. So we're picking up barley. Turn the machine back on. And the capacity on a round beller is at 63%. So as soon as uh, we get close to 100, we'll get a little warning. And then we'll go drop off our round bells. Right. And that warning comes on at 90%. Oh, oh, oh. All, right, all right, turn it off so we can go faster. And away we go. We're going to drop off our Rambo. So it's going to be good times when I get this new tractor. Um, it's going to be it's going to be twice the tractor that uh, that this yellow one, green one, green one is. Which is nice, as, as you can tell, yellow and green one pulling that heavy trailer like that. Uh, you can imagine what the next tractor is going to be like. Pretty stout. And X. And away we go. And I need to move this guy. Get in there. I highly recommend these yellow and green tractors, they're pretty awesome. They are high on maintenance, uh, we talked about, but uh, in the beginnings, you don't really have to worry about that too much. If you have a fleet of them, you know, 10 or so, you could probably feel the pinch, but uh, having a couple of them is not really that big of a deal. Oh, I missed a little bit. Moving right along. I think these round bells go for about 500 a piece. So uh, it's definitely worth doing if you got the time. I'm going to turn this off. And then speed up. Yeah, I see that boom came out. And, uh, so that means we need to unload. Boom comes out at about 80%. Capacity. That's kind of your warning. So I'm gonna leave this here while it unloads, and then it'll start back up uh, whenever it gets, whenever it empties. And then I'll come back and move that. and repeat so I'll get the um, well, I don't have a tractor for that sewing machine huh. that red one won't pull up so I'm gonna have to harvest this whole field before before I can start sewing it so what I may do <coughs> is uh, the red tractor can cultivate what I may do is just round bell this uh, this field and uh, just cultivate the other one. That way the cedar can catch up. Oop. Uh, 
Electro out of the way. If I set this right, it'll unload. If I can judge the distance, this thing is so new, it's going to be hard to judge the distance. We'll see how I did. Looks like I'm a little far out. I don't think I made it. Nope, I missed it. Oh well. Not too shabby. So you can see it's uh once this stuff starts starts going, uh boy there's no oh I didn't turn that on. Once the stuff starts going, uh oh and a boom came out. You got a lot of stuff to juggle. So you're you keep it busy. There's no downtime. I was gonna make sure this harvester stays going. I can follow along. Uh, hit the four key and it'll it'll stay side by side. But here it's gonna wait. It's mostly out. I'm gonna get out of the way. Let it go. Start round belling again. Chink C, boy. Uh, once, the, once you start, start getting these things going, you stay pretty busy. I think I got it this time. Yeah, got it. Go to the spot. The uh, the AI won't won't do this job. Uh, it won't do the uh, tipper's job either. So you have to do those. But it will do the sewing. And it will do the cultivating if you need it. All right. Just about got us another bale. He's probably got another pass in him. When he comes back uh, this direction, then I'll, uh, I'll unload the tipper.
Oh, there he goes. Shoots out. Get on it. Pretty busy. So I'm gonna let him stop so I can get caught up on round bells. So I'm gonna intentionally let that thing get at 100%. Uh, otherwise, he won't stop. Let's see if that's. Uh... Yeah, 99. Okay. He's gonna stop in a second. And then I need to get caught up on round belling. One. So, um, since we have, what do I have? This is, uh, barley. Uh, so this will have barley in our silos, and, uh, we need wheat in our silos. So that'll be next. We're gonna plant wheat. but it filled it up. Okay. Yeah, it filled it up, so I gotta pull this away. I'm at 100%, it still has more to unload. So it won't get started until I move this away. Probably had like 1% in it. Oh, it had 21 units. Are you kidding me? Ain't even any Christmas. Okay. I could sneeze and put 21 units. Anyway, all right, we're good. We're moving a little slower this time. This thing's full. So off to the silos. and repeat. Maybe for lucky tonight, uh, we could get that tractor and maybe some feeder equipment for the cows. Turned it off. Oh, I'm moved. Another dude in the tractor. We'll call him Bob. Bob the Harvester. Oh, honey. Getting caught up. So, uh, like we talked about once we get this field done, I'll start the sewing machine and then uh, we'll just do round bells on this machine because otherwise uh, we'll get so far behind. Don't want to plant two fields at the same time. That sewing machine's fast, but it's not that fast. Oh, 
Booms out. Can you go and load that? Please. Oh. So, uh, I'm sure the tractor we're gonna get here in a minute. I think I got all this stuff. I should be able to sew it okay. <clears throat> it's kind of a shame, too, because, um, the tractor that I want was on sale a little bit ago. Yeah, this one right here. So it's 142 uh, kilowatts and 193 horsepower. So 193 horsepower. And this one here is uh, 134. So it's quite a bit of difference. And this is a 270 maintenance. And then this one is at 180. So the maintenance is $100 less. Uh, and it's uh, quite a bit stronger uh, tractor. Could be a good improvement. While keeping the maintenance down, that's the key. At this point, with the two of these yellow, yellow tractors, we want to, we want to keep this, the maintenance down as much as possible for the long haul. Eventually, these yellow ones will get replaced. Um, if you do the math on it, I mean it's, you're saving a hundred dollars a day. So that's, if you have a, uh, it's a $210,000 tractor, and the yellow one, this one here, is a, a $6,500 tractor. So I mean, it's $130,000. So that's 1,300 days. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going too fast. 1,300 days in order to break even. So I mean, it really doesn't make much sense to swap out a tractor. But certainly, uh, for the future, even though we're not going to replace these yellow and green ones, uh, whenever we buy, it certainly is going to be worth our while to keep our maintenance as low as possible. So we don't erode our income. And the, the cows and the... I don't know if I'm going to do sheep. Sheep require... Uh, picking up the wool from the sheep requires um, the front loader. Really not a big fan of the front loader. Whereas the uh, the cow ones, uh, the AI comes and picks up the milk on its own. All you have to do is just feed the cows. And you feed the cows with the machinery, so um, I kind of like that. Not, not too bad. Manure spray. You get a byproduct. You get manure um Manure is a byproduct you can use as fertilizer, so cut your fertilizer cost uh, considerably. So you got basically free fertilizer. And you also get a liquid fertilizer too, so you have two types of fertilizers. Uh, I don't think that they stack, but it's, it's just more fertilizer uh, that you don't need to buy. So I kind of like that. So where you... Uh, less, less maintenance, I think. To have cows than it would be to have sheep. Uh, plus the sheep's I don't know, the sheep's might give fertilizer. I haven't I haven't seen where they do. I'm not saying that they don't, I just don't see where they do give fertilizer. I would imagine they do. Yeah. 
They're sheep, right? I mean, you have to go to the bathroom. Whether the game is accounted for that or not is a whole other moment. Anyway, it'd be a nice tractor. Uh, get that thing. That'll be my hauler. That'll get me to and from the silos uh, really quickly. Plus, I've been driving this one for so long. It'd be a nice change of pace to get a new tractor to drive. Because you know the boss, I mean, the boss has got to drive the new equipment, right? I mean, the boss can't be driving the old ratty tractors that have been around forever and ever and ever and have all the miles on it. Boss has got to have new equipment to drive, even though he even if he doesn't need it. <laughs> yeah. So if I drop this off here, he will wait to unload before he takes off. Whereas if you do it in the middle of a field, oh, I'm done there. If you do it in the middle of a field, um, he won't stop. Pardon me, coming through, coming through. There we go. So, I'm going to get us a new tractor, hopefully today, and then, uh, still haven't paid back the loan yet, um, right now I'm more about expanding and growth more than I am about paying back the loan, but uh, after we get this tractor, we'll be able to do a lot more with less, and then uh, get a new piece of land bigger than this field actually and then at that point I think we'll start working on the loan a little bit maybe dabble into the cows I don't know, have to play it by ear it all depends on how many premium prices we hit too so if we get lucky on some of the prices and uh, we make a killing then hopefully we can uh, accelerate our plans for Paying back the loan or getting equipment. So, almost done with this field. Sometimes they have trouble down there on that tree, so just keep an eye on them. Screw that up. I got a little bit of time. Unload it and get him started on the other field. Pronto, pronto. That's good.
I think this is going to be the last round, but and if there's anything left over, we'll just cultivate it. You got to get this theater going. Got to get him going. Otherwise, we'll be out here all night just seeding. bell out of this. May have to go snag some from the other field. There we are. Alright, we're just going to dump this here for the sake of getting the cedar going. We need this tractor. Oh, oh, careful. Alright, away we go. See how that harvester's doing. Alright, turn our uh, wheat. Get him started. And away we go. Is it 57%? So we're good. We need to clean up this field a little bit, tidy them up. get rid of that. Now, uh, we don't need to, to do this stuff out here. Uh, we talked about uh, this stuff will be done by the uh, by the sewing machine. Um, but in, just in case I miss some spots down here, I'm going to go nab these real quick. Just check and make sure there weren't any more. A little one. Boom out yet? Let's see it. Alright, looks like we're good. So the sewing machine can handle the rest. And, uh, no boom yet. There it is. Alright, that's our cube. 85% capacity, so probably not going to get it all. But we'll get some. This time we want to just go ahead and keep him rolling. Hit the four key, and now uh, run side by side. And that's it. There we go. So I'll get the red tractor over here and uh, get working on this. Cultivating. Can't quite handle the sewing machine, but this red tractor can handle this. Everybody's going to work. Bob the harvester. Stephen the sower. And uh, Charles the cultivator. Why does Bob the harvester? He should be like Hank the harvester or something. Maybe maybe his name is Hank. Maybe it's like Bob Hank. Maybe like Hank is his middle name or something. I don't know. Get the... All right. I 
things are going to calm down a little bit now that we're not uh, rammed down. I do need to get on the uh, front loader though and cash in on those head bells. Oh, I better unload. It's full already. Huh. Oh. I must not have taken very much off of them. One thing about this um, cultivator is the AI isn't perfect, which I kind of like in, in a way, uh, because the uh, it, it does okay. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute here when it gets to the end, what I mean by okay. Just kind of okay with disgust instead of okay as in, yeah, that's pretty good, that's okay. It's kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. I guess I'll live with it. But if you watch... Uh, Watch how the AI handles that cultivator. It'll it'll miss a little bit. If he doesn't run into the harvester, it's expensive machinery there, Mister. So uh, that's just what it does. Uh, it just misses misses that little piece. Um, you know, hey, it is what it is. Uh, it's uh, it's getting the job done without me having to worry about it. So I'm not necessarily too worried about it. Uh, if you want to get uh, particular, you can certainly go back and fix it. It's not a big deal. But uh, I don't know. It kind of uh, I kind of like it a little bit because it looks real. Because that's that's what normal fields look like. Uh, and yes, I do know the difference. Um, yeah. But then again, it's uh, you know if you're ADD and you can't sleep at night, uh, you can certainly go back and fix it. But the way I'm doing this is I just, I had the blades tilted. See how they're slightly tilted? So I can put them all the way to the ground, and I can just run up on it and pick it up. Just so I could just do up and down motions instead of worrying about tilting the blades. Push just less controls, makes it easier to do. Yeah. Not that far down. Oh, missed that one. be nice to put this hay to use uh, when I get the cows going. I can't quite do it yet. I need feeding equipment. It's not too expensive. It's just uh, I'm going to divert all my resources to that new tractor first. I think he's ready for an unload. Oh, 62. It's okay. More. So, uh, I was able to juggle a few machines uh, and because so uh, I was able to make a couple of bucks off of it. So uh, good deal. Plus it helps pay for the uh, pay for the round biller if you do stuff like this. So instead of that just turning that stuff into the soil you can uh, juggle a few machines and you can actually make some money off of it. One more. Come on. No. There we go. Ugh. Just gonna be difficult, aren't you? I screwed my pitch up. Alright, I'll get it this time. Please? Or not? It's 
as painful as you as it is for me. Ugh. Alright, I'm giving up. Doing just fine until this one came along. I always said it wants to be difficult. Hey, it goes from one side to the other. I didn't end up the. Uh, it's alright. Relax. This is supposed to be fun. Not stressful. gonna be... this one's got the devil in him. If I had a match, I would set this bale on fire and just say, be done with it. I'm just gonna push it in. Just, just tap it in. Just, just tap it in. Just tap it in. Yeah. Alright, so how we doing? Oh, we're full. I've been playing around with them. Brown bell. And my harvester's full. So anyway, um, having, having some fun, believe it or not, even though round bells are stressful sometimes. We should have enough here to get this empty, and I need to stop this guy. There we go. Oh. Alright, let's get this part. Still got fuel. We got a little bit of time. We'll go ahead and top it off real quick. A little closer. A little closer. Oh. Wrong button. So, uh, after we get this field done, I think we're going to wrap this up. Day in the life of a, uh, of a farmer, a farm sim. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that little piece of dismissal. Alright, get this going again. Get this going. I sh hopefully you should have enough room. I got a little time to burn, so I'm going to go ahead and unload this real quick to make sure. But uh, get that harvester unloaded. And then, uh, well actually no, I'm not going to wrap this up because I need to fertilize yet. So we got still a little bit more to go. And then uh, hopefully on the next time compression We'll get, uh, we'll get a resource to hit for our prime rate, and uh, maybe we can get our tractor today. Machines doing its job. Oh no 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 no! Don't be no, no. Come back! No no no! You're not going down there just for that little patch. So uh, I'll tidy up these little wedges that this cultivator is making, uh, just because I have time to. Otherwise, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Oh, oh, oh. All right, get the boom out. Nice thing is you don't have to have somebody in the tractor, harvester, to unload as long as the boom's out. As long as it's fully extended, anyway. Uh, 
unload this. Put away some equipment. Finish up those little wedges with the cultivator. Get some fertilizer going. And we are done with this crop. So this field in front of me here is the one we're going to buy. Uh, oh, on the other side of those trees there. Really nice field. Uh, maybe if we got a minute we'll go check it out. We'll get things going here. Well, no, probably won't. Just, uh, video is getting a little long, so... But if you wanted to check it out in the game, I think it's like a 100,000, uh, something like that. It's bigger than this field in front of me, which is kind of nice. Because this field in front of me is about 100,000 as well. Maybe it'll go on sale. I haven't had anything go on sale yet that was near, near this, near where I'm at right now. They've always been on the outskirts. Uh, otherwise, I would have bought it. So I can fertilize this here, uh, even though it hasn't been sown. So I'll just get started right here. Oh, oh. Straight lines, straight lines. Just a couple of spots there. That's all right. The sewing machine does the same thing as the cultivator makes those little wedges. That's eh, just part of it. Like I said, it makes it look a little real. Um, but I don't mind it too much. finished up over there in the cultivator. So I finished fertilizing this field. Clean up those little wedges. Now if I came over here uh, and cultivated something that's already been sown, uh, obviously that's going to uh, screw up the sown stuff. So uh, but if it hadn't been sown yet, obviously I can go and cultivate that. So this stuff over here, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to leave it be. I'm not going to come back and reseed it. But I will do that other stuff. Fertilizer gets expensive. You see in a minute, so that's why it's uh, kind of anxious to get the cows going. So I don't have to pay for this fertilizer anymore. It's usually a couple grand. All right, lower the cultivator, and uh, we'll just do side to side on this. It doesn't matter if it's in straight lines or not. We'll just go back and forth. Needs to be alright.
Finish her up. Yep. There we go. Alright. Good deal. Doesn't like dinner. And uh, since I'm going to harvest another one again tonight, I'm bring this over here, get it ready for the next crop. And off to the fertilizer. So yeah, uh, ready to get the cows going, so I don't have to pay for this fertilizer anymore. This stuff's expensive. So uh, I, uh, I'll have to find out if that slurry, because uh, you can see here, I've got two cows. Uh, where's it at? Yeah, two cows and 15,000 whatever's of uh, liquid fertilizer. So there's two cows since I've started this game, I've produced uh, 15,000 liquid fertilizer. So, um, as you can see, the milk in the tank, uh, they get milked automatically, and then the AI comes around twice a day and sells the milk. So the more cows you have, uh, the better you feed them, the higher your productivity, the more manure they produce, the less uh, fertilizer you have to buy, the more milk. Um, is made, the more money you make, the only thing you gotta do is just feed the cows. What I understand that's all you gotta do is feed the cows. Uh, if there's more to that, then we'll figure that out. But uh, I think you have to... I was watching a video today and I think there's three different types of things that you can use to feed them. Slurry, hay, and something else. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out. But once I do... Uh, I'll be sure to make sure they get what they need to be at 100% productivity. So, uh, I'll show you how much this fertilizer costs. There you go. So, we're at 46.2. And we were at 35%. 43.2. 44.2, so about 2,200. Yeah. This stuff's add up. <laughs> like this guy. Get the sower moved over. I think we'll wrap this up here. Maybe go take a look at that field real quick since we got a little bit of time after we move the sewing machine. The sewing machine. Not really a sewing machine. S O sewing machine, not S E. Alright, we don't need, uh, yeah, that, that, wagon's there, yeah, cultivator, we could probably move that, we've got a couple of minutes. Get it ready. I'm not gonna come back and seed the need to get this other field going. Can't make any money seeding that little patch there. Let's 
set up. Alright. Alright. So, probably this weekend uh, is when we'll be able to buy this. Buy this lot of land. Tractor's gonna come first. This is the field we're going to buy. It's a good size field. Oh! Wrong button. That'd be nice. That will be nice. So anyway, um, we're just going to wrap this up here. Um, we've got everything done. It's just that one field needs to be finished sewing. Um, but other than that, rocking and rolling. Uh, after we get that lot of land, maybe move over into a, um, an attachment to so I can do corn. That way I'll have, let's see, uh, statistics, so that way I'll have wheat, barley, canola, and corn, and that'll just leave potatoes and sugar beets left to do, and I don't think it has, uh, I don't think it can do that. Uh, this is it here. Yeah, see it only has a corn attachment. So these three go together. Corn header, yeah. So it's gonna have to be uh you're gonna have to go here and either buy this, ouch, or or this one. You can probably just attach a tractor to it and do this one for potatoes. And then sugar beets, same deal. Probably start off with something like this. That looks like a monster to drive. So when it comes to the cows, the manure spreaders. So once you start feeding the cows a proper diet, they'll produce some manure, and then you can get one of these and fertilize your fields. Same with the slurry. Instead of buying the uh, fertilizer. Anyway, uh, we're gonna wrap this up here. But uh, the day in the life of a a farm sim farmer. Quest free. Thank you very much. We don't need no stinking quests. Anyway, take care guys.